Hello and welcome to Destination Orange County. I'm Crystal Candy. There are a lot of developments in the tourism corridor and today we're bringing you the latest from the iDrive Chamber. This month featured an update from Icon Park where they just launched a new attraction on the wheel. Also at this event, the iDrive Chamber presented Icon Park President Chris Jaskowitz and his team with a special Innovator Award. This award highlights their contribution to the iDrive community as a whole. Not only have they undergone major transformations in the park, they've opened several new businesses and attractions in the last few years which have brought increased traffic and more jobs to the area. We'll have more on that later in the program. Congratulations to the team at Icon Park for being a true innovator in the iDrive community. Now for the Ambassador of the Month. Each month, the Chamber honors an iDrive employee for a job well done. This month's Ambassador is Nick Edwards, a bartender at Icon Park. He is a hardworking team player who excels at customer service. Frontline employees are the heart of the tourism industry, and Nick Edwards personifies this. Congratulations to Nick for elevating the guest experience at Icon Park and for representing the iDrive Chamber as their Ambassador of the Month. Now, the safety of residents and tourists in the iDrive community is of the utmost importance, and the Chamber is proud to recognize their Orange County Deputy of the Month. Earlier this year, Deputy Michael DiLorenzo was made aware of an employee from an iDrive restaurant who was armed and in a state of mental crisis. Deputy DiLorenzo made contact with the person who was at a home and was initially very hostile. The deputy stayed on the phone and provided hope and comfort, and the person ultimately agreed to put the firearm down and meet with officers. Due to his actions, a person in crisis received the assistance they needed and no one else was hurt. The iDrive Chamber is proud to recognize Deputy Michael DiLorenzo as their Orange County Sheriff's Deputy of the Month. And now from Icon Park, here is more from the iDrive Chamber and its partners. Good morning, everyone. Hi, it's great to see you all here today. What a beautiful morning and what a beautiful way to start the day. I want to thank Chris Jaswitz and the team here at Icon Park for providing this beautiful venue for all of us to enjoy. Thank you so much. I am sure today's breakfast will be a very interesting and exciting event with a special Icon Park update. But before we get started with breakfast, we do have some announcements to make and some awards to give out. First, I'd like to welcome some special guests who have joined us today. Please join me in welcoming former Orange County Commissioner Victoria Siplin. As well as Jason Henry from Congressman Maxwell Frost's office. A reminder, next month's luncheon will be held August 10th at the Hilton Orlando, where we will receive a special Universal Orlando update. Also, next month, the Chambers Tourism Orlando Class of 2023 will be graduating. If you are a member of the Class of 2023, please stand and be recognized. If you are not already a graduate of Tourism Orlando, now is your opportunity. We're currently accepting applications for session 23 that kicks off in October. The Chamber's highly acclaimed leadership program enables participants to learn about the vast components and aspects of the tourism industry while networking with fellow participants in this exciting 11th month program. Register today and receive your PhD in tourism. Also, a reminder, Visit Orlando's Magical Dining will kick off Octo August the 18th and will run through October 1st. This year, over 115 restaurants will be participating in offering three-course prefixed dinners for $40 or $60 per meal. One dollar from every $40 meal and two dollars from every $60 meal will be donated to Lifeboat Project 
which provides educational awareness programs on human trafficking and supports victims through educational and residential programs. Make your list today on all the great restaurants you want to visit while donating to this very worthy cause. As we all know, tourism has come back very strong, and due to the strong rebound of the TD2 dollars, the Chamber believes that now is the time to move forward the Orange County Convention Center master plan. Our Chamber Board and Executive Committee have been meeting regularly with commissioners to support this project, which will raise the bar on conventions across the country. A large part, as we know, of those TDT revenues comes from the convention market, which has rebounded to pre-pandemic levels. Here to give us an update on the Orange County Convention Center and upcoming conventions, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mark Tester, Executive Director of the Orange County Convention Center. I was going to just jump up here very athletically, but I decided not to because I'd probably break a hip. But um, you know, we, are, we are at the tail end of our fiscal year. Our fiscal year ends at September uh, 30th, and uh, we're having a, a very, very, very good year, uh, very close to all-time records for revenue and attendance uh, in events. Um, and we just got done with, and it's good to kind of catch your breath a little bit, but the uh, AAU Amateur Athletic event, the, the Junior Volleyball, which was with us for over two weeks and 200,000 people coming and going and, and recycling our parking lot and, and doing significant amount of, of, of concessions and cleaning bathrooms over and over again. And it was a great event. Uh, their families love to be here. Uh, they love to be able to go and, and, and play the sport and then come to the attractions and come if you're here at Icon Park during that thing, you see so many uh, uh, people in their uniforms ready and enjoying all the activities uh, here um, at, at Icon Park. And, um, uh, but we're having a great year. Actually, today, um, one of the reasons why none of our commissioners are here today is that we're going through bu our, our budget presentations. And at 2.30 this afternoon, the very last presentation they're saving is, is ours. And we will be... Uh, proposing our budget for, for next fiscal year again starting October 1 and we are we are proposing that our revenue that we're generating will be at an all-time high um, so we we, uh, we are very happy about that um, we're not using the word recovering or recovery we're using the word recovered now because we certainly have uh, our customers are, are coming in and at 2019 or above levels just about to to an event um, in, in late June, we had uh, Infocom, the, 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 event, the international event for the audiovisual industry, and it was the greatest event in the history of that organization. Uh, they had 36,000 attendees. They were, they, were, uh, they were thinking it was going to be in the low 30s and, and 30, 36,000, and, and really strong in the buyer capacity. That's the one thing that we find, found out is, is that people are coming to do business. Uh, they're coming. The number one reason why people are attending events is to see new products. The second is to expand their, their, their personal uh, network. Um, uh, and, and the fourth is to get educated, right? So it, when, when people say, well, people are learning, they're doing things online, um, uh, or that's why you go to a show, it's not. It's, it's, to, it's to network, it's to build your, 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 your Rolodex, if you will, and also buy, uh, buy products. So, we're, we're very excited. Our, our events are, are very healthy. Um, we've got some new events coming uh, with us uh, this next year, um, including an event called FabTech, which is in the fabricating technology industry, which is committed to be here uh, every four years uh, in a rotation. Uh, it, it will be a very big event with a lot of heavy machinery, and we're very excited, and they're excited about joining the, uh, the Orlando family. Uh, another event that we'll be back with us this year is the National Plastics Expo, a worldwide international plastic event, and they just announced that they have sold out um, both exhibit spaces. They have 1.1 million square feet of sold exhibit space in our 2.1 million. So they are really excited um, uh, to be back with us in, 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 in May of this, this next year, and it points to all great signs uh, to, to what, we're, what we're happening. We're also uh, getting a lot of lead uh, uh, um, interest right now. 
Um, some of the headwinds from what's going on in the state has not really stopped uh, people from wanting to come in. Of course, we partner always with Visit Orlando as our sales and marketing arm, and their lead, their lead uh, ratio is, is off the charts. So we, we think we'll be able to add additional business uh, in the year for the year and, and hopefully shatter um, our records uh, this in fiscal 24. So thank you. Thanks, for Chris, for a great breakfast and for all you do for our, our community. Uh, and uh, uh, look forward to a great, great rest of this year and, and next year. Thank you. Good morning, I Drive Chamber. Are you awake? All right, Mark, thank you. He's, he's doing an amazing job, and we are so fortunate to have him steering the ship for uh, OCCC Convention Center. So thank you, Mark. Thank you, VO, for being phenomenal partners. Let's give a great big hand of applause to the team here at Icon Park this morning. What do you think? We're having breakfast before any guest comes. And you know what's really great? What a team builder exercise Chris did this morning because his team actually came out and set this up. So outside their scope. So let's give them another round of applause. But we want to give a special award today. The Chamber has created an award to recognize outstanding, innovative work of members who elevate International Drive Resort area and our resort destination and those whose vision and marketing efforts raises the bar for the entire community. This year, we are pleased to present the Chamber's Innovator Award to Icon Park. This year is the five-year anniversary with Chris Jaskowitz as the CEO and president of Icon Park and the creation of the new Icon Park complex that you are in today. Chris arrived with a vision to brand this a world-class complex under the Icon Park umbrella identity. He had the vision to brand this as its own destination area and brought changes that have transformed the comp complex you are in today. What it looks like, the type of tenants it invites, the unique experience it offers guests, and on a personal level, how it does business with others and the community. We wanted to kick off our guest speaker portion with a special moment, recognizing the tremendous impact Icon Park is making in our destination and in our community. For those of you who have been around a while, you remember this exact spot. This is where the old Mercado was. Now, because of this $300 million investment and the wheel, providing iDrive another major icon. Icon Park has positively impacted our entire community. Chris Jaskowitz and the Icon Park team have done an outstanding job raising the bar on attractions, restaurants, new marketing concepts, creating innovative experiences for guests to come back again and again. So today, along with being our guest speaker, we want to take this time to recognize Chris Jeskowitz and the Icon Park for continuing to raise the bar and elevating our entire community. We also have someone else who would like to congratulate you with this honor. Hello, I'm Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings. It is my distinct pleasure to congratulate Icon Park on receiving the International Drive Chamber of Commerce Innovator Award. Congratulations again to the entire Icon Park team on this recognition. So unfortunately, he couldn't make it this morning. He did want to be here in person, but that to me is just as good. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Chris Jaskowitz after this quick picture.
Thank you very much for that, Maria, and, and, and to the board of the chamber, it's, it, 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 and to the Mayor Demings for his kind words. Um, that, that's very meaningful to us. Um, I, I tell you, I was thinking about the work that Maria and the board has been doing. I've seen them up close the, for the past several years, and you know, bright, a couple of, of examples of projects that Maria has, and, and the board have led us through. Brightline, at one point, was going to skip iDrive. Thanks to Maria and the board, they're going to come to iDrive. Um, you know, there's going to be a big construction project at I-4 in Sand Lake. Maria has spent countless hours making sure that that construction project doesn't hurt us too badly here on iDrive. The TDT uh, issues and, and discussion, you know, the hotel owners give up 6% of their revenue for TDT. So that's the first group that we should be asking, what should we do with that money? And they want to expand the convention center, right? And so I think that Maria and many others have helped deliver that message very effectively. Um, I'd like, you know, that Deputy DiLorenzo, that was an amazing story. I know it also reflects the kinds of challenges that you and your colleagues face every day to protect us. I'd, I'd like every first responder, please, to stand up so we can applaud all of you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. This award means so much, and the reason I love it is because it showcases the work of our team. It, it, this is a team credit. And please indulge me, because I'd like to just touch, I, I could spend 45 minutes talking about all of our hosts and employees, but I'd like to just touch on each of our main department heads and, and just acknowledge them and thank them for all of their amazing work over these past few years. Um, you know, David Dirnali is our CFO, and D if you receive a check from us or if you pay us a check or write us money, he, he, he and his department are involved in that. So Rob Gilman, is our, runs our ride and show group, and um, Rob's in charge of making sure the wheel is lit and always spinning. So if it's not, email him, rgilman at iconparkorlando.com. <laughs> David, um, I already talked about, Rick, is Rick here? Rick has our biggest group of hosts that handle, Rick's back in the back with his team. Um, that handle all of our guests from intake. We have two concierge desks in front, and we, we, we have our guests that load the, ride the wheel and the carousel. Frank Belzer joined us about a year ago, and he's infused us with a lot of really great ideas in sales and marketing. And um, you know, one of the things he's done is created a newsletter that we send out that he sent out every week. It's just been terrific. Um, Steve Rutledge, property director. Where's Steve? Um, I don't think I Icon Park has ever looked better, and Steve and his team of in, both inside Icon Park and outside are, d deserve credit for that. Orlando Gonzalez, is Orlando here? Um, Orlando's in charge of our commercial business. We have a lot of businesses, and one of them is the kiosks. Orlando and I started about the same time. We had four kiosks. Now there's 40. I call it the rabbit department. Um, Tiffany Braxton, HR director, in the middle of the most difficult job market I've ever seen. She's been handling all of the pressure very gracefully and, and helping us through it and supporting all of our departments. Greg, who I'll talk about, community engagement. Geo Events, who can pull off any event, anytime, anywhere, amazingly. Chet, I think if there's another award that should be given, it could be the best looking retail store. Isn't that store amazing? So Chet, thank you for your work. He's over there. Caitlin, basically the glue to Icon Park. And then, you know, we have a lot of outside parties. The security team, Lewis, and his wonderful team, every day are making sure that our guests and employees are safe. Lewis runs our cleaning company. Uh, landscaping, Jared, where's Jared? He, he, he's, he dresses up pretty nicely. As an owner, he's out there doing a lot of work himself, which we appreciate. Johnny, IT. Um, and, and, you know, when I started here, I said, who remembers the dot-com, the dot-com boom? Who's old enough to remember the dot-com boom? It was basically when the internet companies were. Because they were all about sizzle and not substance. I said, we're going to be about substance first, and then we're going to promote it. And then we started promoting, because after the rebrand. And Will Wellens and his PR team have been with us every step of the way on this. I mean, 
after COVID, we sent something out like 30 press releases within a year. It's unbelievable. And we now have Becca, who was available, so we've brought her in to help us with some, with, with, with some projects. And plus with tenants, we have a thousand employees here with all the tenants. So, and the last group is the developers. You know, a lot, all of us basically receive a paycheck, but the families that developed Icon Park, Paul and Daisy Conovis and Brett Torino, wrote checks, and I mean big checks, to develop what we have here at Icon Park. This renovated wheelhouse is an example of that. You know, we spent a million dollars to renovate this during COVID. That's an investment. So we really appreciate their support and their trust. I'm proud of our innovations. This is because we did the, for example, the wheel capsule playlist. People, we figured out a way, our team figured out a way to let guests listen to their own music while they're on the wheel. It's amazing. Great Florida road trip. It's really a first, two firsts. One is the first attraction to highlight other attractions and the history of Florida and also infuse a game element. So we also, I guess, are being awarded for this business, some of the business innovations like the Play Pass. We figured out a way to get 50 businesses on the same page and offer our guests a Play Pass. One pass, one price, 10 attractions, discounts to 25, 30 restaurants. And also the Orlando Entertainment District, which we also did during COVID. We wanted to highlight this area. So we created a website, we branded the Orlando Entertainment District, and um, this team deserves this award, and we appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. All right, this, thank you. Okay, so every year, each destination has the opportunity to update the group. So this is not the world's longest acceptance speech. This was my turn to update you on what we've done over the past year. So I'll, we have a few things to update you on. You know, our business is, is um, it's, it's unique because we're a landlord, we're an attraction operator, and we're a real estate developer. It's pretty unique. Um, as a landlord, you know, we brought in 12 new tenants and 12, or, or openings in the aftermath of COVID. Thankfully, we haven't had to do that because those, success, those businesses are successful. But within the last year, a new tenant, Max Action, has opened. It's 8,000 square feet of, of a really, uh, a, a really cutting edge VR experience called zero latency, which basically means that you can move around yourself and you also can do it with up to eight friends, family members, or, 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 or colleagues. It's, it's cool. They, they have adventure rooms, they have ax throwing, they have a bar in there, and, hopefully, and they tell me that you only go to the bar after you do the ax throwing, not the other way around. Um, Brother Jimmy's is a new tenant. Now that is a family. I love Icon Parks, the aspect that we have some of the world's largest hospitality companies out here, like Darden and you know and Bloomin Brands that own own restaurants. But we also have family-owned businesses. And Mike and Carissa moved their family down from New York to open Brother Jimmy's. And if you've been there, you know it's really really good. And the way they present the meats and the sauces and they have the smokers in, inside the restaurant. It's a wonderful experience. Please go and please, please help them. Please, they're doing well, thankfully. You know, there's been a lot of turnover in that spot over the years and they're doing the best and they're successful, but we wanna keep helping them. We also opened the carousel, which, which is, um, you know, each one of those animals is a replica of, a, of an animal from other famous carousels that were built in the 1880s. And if you look up at the design, it's very, it's a beautiful carousel, a lot of detail. Um, attractions operator, I'm just gonna let a, a short video describe wh what's, new, what's new there. Welcome to the launch of the Great Florida Road Trip Game. game is an add-on experience for riders on the wheel. Players get a retro-themed camera to aim at markers on rooftops around the park. It pays homage to the state's original attractions in the 50s and 60s, such as the Everglades, Daytona International Speedway, and more. It's really a new way to experience the wheel. The game is so fun. People love it. Awesome. So, 
so that's the attraction and the developer from a developer standpoint we have four parcels on the universal side of the bullet of boulevard universal boulevard that we're going to develop and really the main challenge now is we have a lot of interest in, for these parcels, but what fits best at Icon Park? What fits best for the area? Because we want to keep curating a really good mix of tenants and attractions. We're also an event producer. As I mentioned, we have had 50 or so private events that Geo and team produce. Um, we have this venue. We have the Sky Lounge that you saw. We have the front lawn. We've had, we've had buyouts. We've had, we have events from five people to 5,000. It's really a great place to have an event. And the next area is public events. In July, Frank and team decided to grow our Sip and Saver, which was annual, to now make it three Sip and Savers, highlight our restaurants. And the next one is, what, July 30th? And we're highlighting all of our restaurants. We're also bringing some neighbors in. It's going to be the Great American Cookout, right? It's just another reason to generate excitement about, about the area. Um, August, we're having destination days. I mean. This Great Florida Road Trip promotes Tampa, Miami, the Keys, so they're going to start promoting us and our area. So we're trying to make those connections. September 30th, we have a community day that we're co-producing with the iDrive Business Improvement District, where we're going to have music and street performers, and we're going to have concert series, and 30 different community groups are going to be here on September 30th. Lastly, we like to partner with our neighbors and promote iDrive. So Frank and team have been working closely with local hotels to come up with really cool play and stay packages where guests get a hotel room and they get discounts to the wheel and they get discounts to the restaurants. Um, we're adding a new Icon Park vacation package on our website. And then more broadly, community engagement. And this is where Greg and team have, have, have really, really done excellent work too. First responders, you know, they train, first responders do training here in the garage and on the wheel. The Orange County Tourism Crime Intelligent meeting, Intelligence Meetings are here. Orange County Public School Districts, the foundation raises money here. UCF, we've done a scholarship and we're helping them celebrate the entering of the Big 12. Greg and team have helped, six in the past year, have helped 60 charities, 100 activations, and a quarter of a million dollars of in-kind donations. Ronald McDonald House, Salvation Army, Boy Scouts, Alzheimer's Association, Matthews Hope, Coastal Conservation Association. Amazing work. And you know what it does is, a lot of people in Orlando don't come out to iDrive, but when we're helping this many charities, guess what, there's a side benefit. They come to iDrive and they see all the great things out here. It's, it's awesome. You know, and I see, Cassandra here from Visit Orlando. And to me, there's a really direct connection between the work that Visit Orlando does, which is promote Central Florida, promote Orlando, and that gives us the ability to help charities. So without them driving so many people here, and this is the most visited destination in the world. So we need them to do what they do so that then we can be successful and help charities. So that's really important. So Visit Orlando, thank you for what you do and being a consumer-facing driver of, of, of business to us. Thank you. And by the way, I always, see, um, I always see economic value, economic value. But to me, economic value is jobs. If we're not doing those kinds of things, then guess what? These conventions and these groups are going to go somewhere else. They're going to go to another destination. And that means jobs, job loss. So lastly, we have a special guest. So we know we've had a heat wave the past couple of weeks. And what do you do in a heat wave? Besides air conditioning and shade, what do you need in, in, in heat? What do you need? Who, who can guess? What do you need? What's the most important? Water? You need water. I was watching Channel 13 the other morning. We have a few Channel 13 people here. I was watching Channel 13 the other morning, and I saw a piece where a boy decided to help his neighbors and to help the mailman, like setting up free water bottles in a cooler, and he would hand out free water bottles. How cool is that? And the money for the water bottles was coming out of his pocket bag, it was coming out of his piggy bank. 
And I'm thinking, that's, a kind, that's our kind of guy. That's our kind of guy at International Drive and in our community. But then something happened. So let's roll, let's, let's play that. There's a van that pulled up, a lady and a guy, and uh, they get some water and they decide to take the cooler as well. This 10-year-old has a message to the cooler thief. The person that like stole my igloo to please bring it back because I don't want to use this small igloo. No question asked, just bring it by the side of the road and we'll take it. And so he can continue putting ice cold bottle water for everyone. Grayshawn, stand up. Hey, is that our kind of guy? We, we appreciate, we appreciate, we appreciate your, your giving. We appreciate it very much. We're going to give you a dinner tonight at Brother Jimmy's Barbecue. We're going to give you a free ride on the wheel, and we're going to give your family annual passes to the wheel. But most importantly, we're going to give you a new cooler, and we're going to give you some water. Come on up. drive chamber we're not done but we got to now get it over to you but you're getting two tickets to Disney two tickets to Universal two tickets to Starflyer two tickets help me team come on SeaWorld Aquatica where else fun spot come on come on you're going to have some fun thank you for all you do We'll get, their, we'll get your, um, your parents' information so we can mail that to you, okay? Chris, thank you for the great presentation. Thank you for the surprise and delight you just provided. Uh, once again, it's always about our community, right? And uh, another great prime example of uh, paying it forward. Thank you, Icon Park team, for a great breakfast. Thank you all for coming today. My gift to you all it's a gift of time. So guess what? You got some back. We look forward to seeing you. Don't forget, sign up for Tourism Orlando. I found out I am officially graduating. I was a little nervous, but I did make it all the way through. And uh, we'll see you August 10th, my place, Hilton Orlando. Thank you and have a great day. It is great to see people recognized for making a difference in the community. And we heard encouraging news from the Orange County Convention Center and Icon Park. The iDrive Chamber also wants you to remember that Visit Orlando's Magical Dining will kick off August 18th and it runs through October 1st. This year, more than 115 restaurants will be participating in offering three course prefix dinners. A portion of each meal will benefit the Lifeboat Project. You can take a look at the restaurants participating at MagicalDining.com. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Destination Orange County. Thank you to the team at Icon Park and the iDrive Chamber for hosting us so that we can bring you the latest from the Tourism Corridor. I'm Crystal Candy, and we'll see you again next time. <music>